Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to the Olympic Exclusion Zone. As we uh, pace more Pacific Drive, we've made it into the mid zone in the game, which obviously is, you know, past the early zone. I don't even know what they call the outside area. Anyway, we're, we're past the first area and we're into the mid zone. We've been doing some upgrades on the car and stuff. We got a bunch of like uh, lead pieces on it to help protect it from radiation. Uh, we've got some piece. I think this one up here. That's the lead plated. So one of the parts here I've got is electric. This one here, uh, the insulated door, which will protect against electricity. I kind of want to build out some more of those pieces that are uh, insulated against electricity, so I can like swap out doors and stuff when I know that I'm going to be going to a place that has that particular issue. But anyway, we're going to try and dig more into the uh, into the mid zone today. Uh, get our hands on some more unstable energy that we can use to unlock other technology for our car. Advance the story a little bit and see what cool things we can discover. Welcome everybody who's here in the chat so far, or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. Thank you all very much for the support, it's greatly appreciated. And a special thanks to our top tier mistakes for made members that were highlighted at the start of the stream. Uh, the quest is sending us over here into the mid zone. It's six hours to get there, but I don't know. It's like six hours to get here, so I don't know how that works. But uh, we gotta go over to here. I'm sort of hoping there's like a portal or something that'll take me into the mid zone, or I don't have to drive the entire way the whole time. Cause that'll suck. Uh, but that's gonna send us through two of these uh, areas that have the what was it called, like the extreme condition area, like the storm has a whole bunch of these effects going on. So we might have to go through a couple of those. Um, I don't know if we have to like prep too many more things. The car is in pretty good shape. Uh, you can see on the analysis over here, there are some additional quirks that the car has that we haven't solved for. There's actually three of them um, that I haven't fixed yet. I did find out what, what one of the other ones was. If you have the hood of the car open, you can see the, the, the dome light on the ceiling there is not on. But when you close the hood, the dome light turns on. So we can fix that thing. That'll get rid of one of the quirks. I have no idea what the other ones are. <laughs> it's going to be six hours cat time. That's right, yes. Absolute cat time. Uh, okay, so when the, um, uh, when the hood is closed, dome light switches on. What? <laughs> uh, dome light toggles, maybe? There it is. All right, we got it, we got it. Did I do a restart first? Oh, before the stream, you mean? Or just in general? <laughs> Let's go to a fix. Uh, to fix that, we need the light replacement kit. I think I might actually have one of those in the back of the car. Give me a quick peek. I do, look at that. Okay, so we can fix that little quirk. One quirk fixed. The other two I haven't found at all. I have no idea. I, 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 one of them I'm sure revol or like relates to the radio. So there's like a the, you get this little exclamation point that gives you a sense that there's something going on. So the radio here is one of the things that's affected. Um, but I don't know if it's like something that turns the radio on or something that I do with the radio. I guess we could try doing some guesswork again. It's so like when the radio toggles. The wipers toggle. Let's see what happens. So it's definitely radio and wipers. We got that. Darcelin with the super chat. Good luck with the stream. Cryptic. Well, thanks, Darcelin. Appreciate it. Um, one of two things may happen here. We may get ourselves destroyed in the mid zone because you know some of that stuff's gonna be pretty dangerous. Or my internet might just crash and the whole stream will go like uh right down the toilet. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen. It's been a problem. It's been a problem. Okay, so uh, when the radio switches on, the wipers... Toggle was not the right answer. Move fast. That was not at all it. Um, when the radio stays on, the wipers... Wobble? Ooh, three... Ah, oh, boom! What a guess. <laughs> Video killed the radio star? Yeah. Exactly. Alright, so to fix that, we need the electrician's kit. Did I have one of those in the trunk, too? That'd be funny. <laughs> I just so happened to. Whoops. Alright. Second quirk fixed. That leaves us with one quirk left. 
And I don't know what it is. Uh, okay, so we can try backing this up here. Uh, anything else here with an exclamation point on it? Doesn't look like it. So, I have no idea what, what this last one is. So I'm going to have to leave that for the moment, because um, I don't know how I'm going to diagnose that. What I think is, it's showing quirks. It, it's, it's like I have a quirk. Because it shows up there, but it's not colored. So maybe it only changes color when there's like multiples of them, and it's telling you you got to start to fix them or something. I don't know. Uh, I have this fancy uh, plasma scrapper in here, which we hopefully will make some use of today to get some stuff. Uh, we got the flare gun. We've got a battery jumper. Uh, I want to check my my driver checklist here. Um, how do I expand that thing again? Repair car, 95%. I think most of the car is in pretty good shape. Uh, we should see if we can get some more panels. I can get, like, a couple more... Well, I've got space for... If I swap out this armored panel on the front, maybe the armored hood. Let's swap those for something, maybe. Before no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't uh, think to restart my computer before stream. I really should do that just as a like a general course of habit. Hopefully, it won't present a problem tonight because it's been the bane of my existence lately. It's kind of driving me a little bit nuts. Uh, steel bumper, insulated panel. I have enough to make that. Grab from those suckers. These things, I think, have better hit points than the uh, than the the armored panels. So that's a. That was weird. It was like an anti-gravity panel. Okay, so that'll give us a little more electrical protection. Uh, this armored panel, I think I'm just going to throw in here, just in case I find myself needing it at some point later. Oh, uh, rotate. There we go. So we'll let that thing heal up. There might be a point where we actually need armored stuff. Uh, I don't know whether there is or not, but there might be. So just in case, I'll keep that. The only last thing I have is this. Uh, so that's a panel too for the hood. So I can change that over to the electrical panel too. Insulated panel. Bing. Ricky with the super chat for democracy. Oh wait, different game. Yeah, that was fun last night. Chaotic because I didn't really know what I was doing, but uh, you can see where the appeal is. The fighting's fun when you, when things start to go a little bit south. In particular, that's where I think things start to get really interesting. All right, we'll put this in the uh, our little recovery thing too. It's funny this looks like a speaker. I wonder why I chose a speaker for the thing it looks like. Anyway, we got that in there. Oh, and the electrician's kit wasn't consumed. I must have had multiple of those. So we'll slap that in there in case we need that later. All right. The problem's gonna be now, I don't know which route we should take. Oh, I have a thing I could build there, too. Something else I could put on a side rack. Do I have any more energy to unlock things with? Oh, man, I got all kinds of unstable energy. Carbon fiberglass, we could get that. Uh, let's see. I want, um... Some more of these racks. What's this here? Roof rack? No, no, I want something to put on the rack. I could put a side fuel tank on here so we can carry more fuel. That would go on that side rack thing. These are pretty much the rest of my stable energy, too, while we're at it. Just need the lead powered fly swatter. <laughs> side battery. What's this here? Mini turbine. Nope, nope. That's all stable energy for that. Unstable energy for this thing. The plasma charger. What if a modified cattle prod could be put to more hum humane use? What if it could be help motivate an exhausted car instead of a hesitant heifer? Why does your battery reinvigorate your life? Oh. That's interesting. Uh, jump jacks? It's stable energy for that. Oh. Okay, unstable for this one. Resource radar. Savvy device seems cheap and crude, but it's precisely calibrated to detect nearby resources and raw material. Yeah, why not? Oh, it's a, this is an activation ability, it looks like. Three kilowatts per activation. There, right, I'm not super worried about that. Um, what about bumper pieces that I can unlock? Oh, wait. Scan a crackling crawler anomaly. Okay, I gotta scan more things. I think. 
I think that might have been why I didn't spend the points last time, but we'll, uh, we'll unlock this uh, carbon fiber glass too, because why not? Hashtag reasons. Expect your net to not mess up today? Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> Who can say? It might go, it might crap out, it might not. The gamble I run every day when I stream these days, it's really, really annoying. It's starting to bother me some. Wait a minute. Is that hose like hooked right in to like extend the size of the fuel tank? Oh, it, yeah. All right. I thought this was gonna be like a, like a, just a side mounted uh, emergency tank, but it's like an overflow tank that let us like hold more. Yeah, I can get behind that. Now we can drive farther without running out of gas. All right, let's pick a place to go to. We're gonna get out of the shop here and go scan some stuff, break some things, get broken by some things. <laughs> Denny Beauty with a 23 month member message. Almost two years of support. Woohoo! Man, two years. I, it's, uh. Can't get over, like, how long some of the memberships are on this channel. I really appreciate everybody who's decided to, to get it, to purchase a membership, and then for those of you who've had it for such a long time, that's just crazy. It blows my mind, honestly. Um. I really wonder how this works. So, I, I've got to get there. I haven't been to this one yet. That would take... It looks like I'd have to go through, like, three or four different stops to get there. But since I haven't been there, I guess we'll go here. Uh, you know, yeah. I want to avoid those storms. Let's go. I'm going to check over here first. Twelve hours. What? All right, whatever. We'll go here. I'm going to take that route first and see if there happens to be, like, a side route we can take to get over here. Or if these, uh, these storms will move on. Um, because I'm trying to... I'd like to avoid... Hanging out in some really bad weather in the uh, the mid zone, if we can. All right, everything seems. We definitely fixed that thing. I think I just forgot to turn the light off last time. <laughs> Questioned myself for a second. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't know where those storms immediately block. Well, I have to go through the storm at some point, but I could. In one of those areas where I'm like passing through, I don't necessarily have to stop and do everything. We could just try to buzz through quickly. No. The question remains will I? But. Theoretically, we don't have to. High instability zone. Heavy fog, spark surge, swift storm. There's only one thing here that I haven't. Uh... I haven't scanned. I don't know what that little symbol is supposed to be. Whether that's a little grammar dude. Let's see what's going on. Mark Booth with a 25 month member message. And thank you for all of the entertaining content. Well, I'm just glad people enjoy watching it at all. I don't imagine myself to be all that entertaining. So the fact that people like it is kind of interesting to me. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, where are we here? So we're going to hit up this spot here. We can do that, like, right on the way by. I'm not going to bother getting both of these. We're just going to try to pass through and not hang out here too long. Man, I took in any histamine, but it's not mattering. Easing, it's still occurring. At one point, that's going to mess up my driving. Oh! You know what? I want to, uh... Uh, turn these off. Don't get any close to my car, you guys. I want to try out this thing. I haven't used the flare gun yet. And there's a lot of these dudes here. That was the wrong button. <laughs> Are you joking right now? I just threw my flare gun to their feet. Can I grab it without them blowing up? People have said a couple times too, I can also just throw a flare as long as I don't hit them and, and then turn my back and they'll like collect around it. So I'd really like to test that. I did it again. Jesus! Okay! Why is it so glowy red over here? My flare's not lit. Oh, it, <laughs> never mind, it is. It actually threw it all the way back over here.
Okay. Well, we got one of the, uh, I wanted this, um, the, uh, the thermal sap stuff. We're trying to get the next level engine up in order to get that. We need more thermal sap, so I figured we'd try that out. There's enough dynamite there, but <laughs> it was one, it wasn't a dynamite, it was, uh, it was a road flare. Apparently it was a little triggering. They didn't, uh, they didn't like it much. <laughs> I just saw one of my road flares burn out up there. Things are going to get a little foggy here. Wait a minute. The storm can't be coming already, can it? No way it took that long. I know I was mucking around with the uh the traffic. Oh it is coming. Oh crap. Okay, yeah, we definitely won't be in the zone very long. There's a pack of weeping angels. They all got explodified. I was just, I thought they would just sort of cluster around the flare, and then I'd, like, throw another one or something to blow them up or shoot that flare gun at them. But, I didn't have to, they all exploded anyway. or whatever they're called. Hey, Richard Dead Gaming, how you doing? Ooh, hold on, I'm gonna hit this thing. Yoink! Well, oh, this new flashlight I got is significantly brighter. I'm liking that. There is the uh, the energy. That's actually another unstable one. That's kind of handy. Oh wait, I want to go that way. I heard them exploding, but I didn't see where they were. So I'm gonna assume. Oh, they're there. Oh, they're getting killed by the electricity. That's cool. Hey, you guys! what I meant to do. Yeah. Hopefully that'll do. Ooh, should I search this house here first? How much time have I got? Might be something good in here. I have like no supplies because we didn't really loot anything yet. So if I have to make any repairs, we're in trouble. Stable. I thought it was unstable. Wrong door. Let's get out of here. Beat a discreet retreat to the exit and we'll move on to the zone. Frequency with a $20 super sticker. Thanks, Frequency. Very generous. Appreciate it. Hey, still snow. 
Happy... What day is it there? Thursday. Happy Thursday. I have this week off because the kids are off school this week. I'm having a terrible time keeping track of the days. <laughs> I think there was a spot back there with some lead, but I'm going to skip it because the storm's in coming and I don't want to get out of here. I was experimenting with zooming while I was driving. Uh, turns out that might not be a good idea. I think I hit that tree trunk. Mr. Island, okay, sorry, hold on. I'm trying to steer. I gotta, I gotta spin back here. Your highlighted message. I was sitting watching you and Cryptic Fox play together last night. Is that what you're talking about, Joe? Or a different one? Played a little bit of the uh, Helldivers 2. That was fun. It's nice that people like Dropbot actually had an, uh, some idea what they were doing in the game so they could point me in the general right direction. Made it. I'm sure that didn't cause any problems. Bro, it's terrible. I don't even know why we have a room. I'm text and drive. You're 60 months. Oh, sorry, Joe. Uh, I have to scroll back to it. One second here. 60 month best. Oh, there it is. Maybe a close second to Soul Snow and the membership milestones. Keep us entertained, please. Oh, thanks, Joe. 60 months. Wow. Four years. over four years. Thanks, Joe. I really appreciate that. That's uh, that's crazy. That may that may even warm somewhere in the subcockal region of my heart. I don't know what region that exactly is. I ain't no doctor, but I've heard it's down there. Uh oh, we got toxic bunnies. Stay off my car. far from the exit. Where's the road go? Where is the road? <laughs> okay, seriously. Can't see the road here. So where this stuff is? There it is. We got this. My car is a little damaged, but we can get it fixed. Phew! All right, we did it. Uh, now it will let us move on to this zone. Anchor obfuscation. Oh. Huh. And some not recognized death thing. That that sounds great. Let's see what we got, I guess. Was a $10 word? Which one, the obfuscation word? Here's a question, Cryptic, uh, for everyone. Will Cryptic return with the milk he went to the to pick up or get wrecked by instability storm? Uh, oh, I'm gonna get wrecked. Oh, 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 I got a bad tire. Uh, headlights off. Let's see what we got going on here. Please don't be shredded. Ceiling kit. Oh man, I hope I have enough stuff in here to make a ceiling kit. <laughs> That's not looking promising. Nope. Okay. But I do, however, still have a spare. So we can throw that down there and we'll pull this off. And then I can take this one back to the shop with me and fix it later. Or if we happen to get enough materials later to make a ceiling kit, we can we can do that. Okay. What else have we got going on? There was some some other stuff here that was damaged. Put some hood and side panel. Let's get the uh, the blowtorch out here. 
can't see much of it at all because it's kind of dark, but... I can just quickly patch things up before we move too far into the zone. I can't really steel lumber. Oh, that's interesting. I can't fix the headlight. Weird. Tires all seem to be in reasonable shape, so that's all right. Okay, I think we're good. Put this away for now. All right, what does this zone have in store for us? Special item can't be fixed. Okay, I wonder what's special about it exactly. All right, we need to go here. Oh, it moves. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so it could be almost anywhere. Um, I have, I have that weird scanner thing. This thing here, the anchor radar. I don't know what kind of range it has though. Gives me a much better idea of why the anchor radar exists. That's for sure. Let's just let's just drive and see what we find in here. Some crappy weather. Headlights a special will not repair the Star Indicator special items. Okay. Alright, I get it. You said though, I wonder what's special about it. It doesn't seem that special. It's only casting like a let's say a generally normal level of light, not a superior level of light. That's a that's a new Oh crap. Let me hang on to my car for a minute. I'm gonna scan this thing. Cough box? <laughs> I've been cough boxed. Hear the wipers loud and then play with the radio? Leaving the radio on for a bit, see what happens. Oh wait, no, we didn't, we fixed the thing that was related to the radio. It's our car. Don't like the sound of those cough box things. Freaking out. Okay. Um. Flashlight. We have a couple of armored doors, so we're gonna chop these down. Hopefully, we can get some more of that. Uh, some more, of, yeah. Some of this sap stuff out of it. Sorry, it's dark. I can't do anything about the lighting. Summer tire. I don't care about. I can see here. didn't drop one. It's cheating. No armored panels on here I can strip? No. Okay, but there is lead here too, which would be nice. Uh, you know what? I can do something about the light. I like that so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, crap. Need that other uh, scrapper. So I have this plasma scrapper I made, but I was trying to use up. That thing stole my flare. About that. I want to see if this works. Oh crap! I did it again. Can't, can't right trigger aim. Someone had said we could like take those things out with a flare, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, 
Ah, put this away. Put that away. Put that away. This thing. I guess I won't put a flare out since that attract with the flyers. That thing's fancy looking. I do not like the darkness in this game. Creeps me out. Hey man, how you doing? Good number down. Let's see if we can figure out where this uh where this anchor point is. Uh I need this thing back. Okay, so there's definitely not an anchor point here. There might be one over here, I guess. Put your coat down the road here. Oh, look at that. I found a I found a quirk. Nope. My wipers are just not working at all. What's going on here? There they go. Never mind. Thought for a second it was like if the radio's on, the wipers don't work, but that wasn't what happened. Echo one has seen better days. Yeah, this car's looking really beat up right now. It's not in as bad shape as it looks, though. Like, like it, it looks like an awful, like, scotch taped together piece of garbage. Hold on, turn the, uh, turn the audio down a tiny bit there. Uh, it looks like a uh, scotch together piece of garbage, but uh, it kind of works, mostly. It's reasonably good shape. Oh, there's the anchor point over there. I really don't want the thing to grab my car. What is that? Oh, God! What? It took my door! that back thank you that's a pickpocket all right let me know what they do now let me back my door you little jerk kind of need that um oh god i shouldn't leave my car here start it up something happened there the lights are acting weird. Oh my god. I don't like these flying things.
Ah. Sneezing while I'm driving. It doesn't work. Okay, I gotta get this anchor. See where I'm going. Okay, that's one. Can anyone gonna hear this? Please keep an eye out for my cat Cedar. He's an orange tabby. Oh, my headlights just turned on, and they turned off. No! I don't think so. Okay, this game's gonna start turning the headlights off on me. That's gonna be a problem. There's the road. Theoretically, there's a road here somewhere. <laughs> I can't see it though. There it is. Chance to breathe here now. There's the other anchor right there. Then the interesting thing will be like, how do I get? Oh crap! How do I get out of this zone? Soon. Um, how do I get out of here? Gateway too close. All the gateways are too close. <laughs> oh, shoot. Drove right into the cough box. Oh, yeah, the car's puking. Well, that's probably not good. Oh my god, everything's going buggy now. I think I have multiple quirks I picked up. Can't mix matter and antidotes now. Looks like the front bumper was pickpocketed. Was it? Oh, yep, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> uh, it was only a steel front bumper, at least, so I can I can fix that easy enough. We needed to replace it anyway. It's something better, but uh, getting out of the zone is going to be a problem. Okay, at this point, we're just trying to get back to the garage. There we go. They're coming up available now. Bang a little Yui here. Um, let's go over this one. It's more of a straight shot. I 
I'm definitely going to have battery problems. I, I spent a lot of battery power on that uh, repulsor thing. I drive along and I saw one of the flyers overhead and something come off your car. Yeah, that was probably my uh, my bumper. Because it's grayed out now on my, uh, my little car diagram. So it's missing. All right, we made it. We got stuff. We're good. Ah, just you, me, and Francis. Peaceful, ain't it? Uh, it depends on whether you guys know what you're doing or not. Oh, we, I think, got a couple of new quirks, uh, just based on how the car was acting. Let's fill this thing up here first. Do you have brighter nights on or turn on in accessible settings? No, I don't actually. I just have a, like just the normal, the normal level of awful brightness. Uh, charge batteries at thirteen percent. Yeah, I did use quite a bit of battery there. It's charged now though. I'm gonna need uh, my little storage container. Oh, we got a message. If you're looking for a sign to push through adversity, this is it. Oh yeah, well thanks for that. Uh, let's get the notes out of here first. Stick those in here. Careful, Raptor had one steal the storage unit uh, off his roof and it was full of goods. Really? Oh, that would suck. I hadn't really thought about that possibility. Thank you for that new fear. <laughs> Great. Something else I gotta worry about. Like, I can turn on the, the repulsor thing that stops them from stealing stuff, but that's not foolproof. I can only do it after they've, like, grabbed on or whatever. Well, I guess I could do it preemptively as long as I knew, but... Um, I want to keep the blowtorch for while we're on the road. I should really make a sealant kit... Or two to have in the car. Oh yeah, it takes marsh eggs for the blowtorch. I forgot about that. So where is the sealant kit? Make a few of those. So this tire... I'm assuming it has to be on the car in order for me to repair it? Maybe not? Oh, that works. Perfect. Just throw that in here. Take the ceiling kits to go. I've got a couple of boosters now for... for the, uh, the battery. I wonder if they're stackable. Yes, they are. Probably don't need this right away. So I guess we'll want to keep, like, anything that's, like... Critically important. We're gonna to want to keep that in our uh, in our in interior storage, so that's like the the thief guys can't steal it on me. Holy Mad Max box! That car is an absolute scrap heap. Well, it's got a lot of stuff scrapped to the outside of it that's like to protect it. Yeah, that bumper's sort of missing. So it looks like a heat, but this stuff actually does them something. This one protects against radiation, that protects against electricity. It's not a complete waste. The limb pulse emitter, that's the thing that does the, uh, the repulsion effect. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I shouldn't have fixed that. I should be replacing that steel panel.
Okay. I need uh, bumpers. Well, let's go see what we can unlock in here. I don't know if I scanned the thing I needed to scan to unlock the thing I needed to unlock. To do the thing I needed to do. Lead plate bumper, scan lead shielding, insulated bumper, scan a crackling crawler. So I can't do a lead, uh, an insulated bumper, but I can do a lead one. Or an armored one. Guess we'll go with lead. What could go wrong with a lead bumper? The ultimate in winter traction. Where's this bumper hiding? Lead plated bumper. <laughs> it's not much to look at. Let's see if we can do another panel here. We'll take an insulated panel, we'll swap that out for this one here. Simple steel panel. There we go. Lead poisoning's fine, absolutely. If you don't have enough lead in your diet, that can cause some serious problems. Probably just for the lead sales industry, but... Okay, that's alright, that's fine. Let's see about more unlocks. Oh, actually, we'll check the, uh, the fancy dumpster thing out here. Hi, hello, Super Chat. Hello, Critic Fox. It was fun playing with you on Helldiver 2 yesterday. Hope you enjoyed the view of your grenade blowing me up to bits. <laughs> well, thank you for the uh, for the Super Chat. Thanks for playing yesterday, too. That was fun. The grenade explosion was funny, but it was, I swear, it was unintentional. <laughs> I threw it, and I was like, oh, it's, it's, it's close. And then uh, I, I didn't have the push to talk held down, so it, uh, it didn't get the warning in time. <laughs> All this free stuff. Things like no more. Oh, interesting. The car didn't reset to actually scrap anymore. Oh, I also apparently hadn't scanned a car frame before. That's fun. All right. I'll get on that front. Anyone else getting lagginess? Oh man, I hope not. My internet doesn't look too bad right now, but it's uh, it's not showing peak. It did it does show a few drop frames, so hopefully not too bad. Stupid internet! I swear to God, that company drive down there and give them all peace of my mind. Except the problem is I don't have a mind to give them, and so I don't know what that would accomplish exactly. Uh, reinforced headlight, insulated light. I need advanced workbench two for that. Ooh, that reminds me. I want to unlock the advanced workbench, too. I need steel sheets for that. How many steel sheets was it? I don't know, because I don't have a memory. Uh, four of them. Steel sheets. Keeps dropping from not. Yeah, I can see that, um... I'm not get. I'm, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. OBS is showing it green, but it, oh no, it went yellow. Crap. It was showing green, but it wasn't like a, the good quality green. It was like this weird, slightly different color green. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It was. I've never seen it before. I did drop a few frames, but it's only. Uh, it should be okay for most people most of the time. I don't know. Stats for nerds are going to red and black. Yeah, it's kind of all over right now. I've literally never seen it do that before. Advanced workbench kit. Oh, this is for here. I thought it would be in my car.
baby poop green. Yeah, it's like a... It's not the normal kind of vibrant green it usually is. It's like a slightly bluish green. It's weird. I've never seen uh, that color in OBS before. Do you have a lock of performance from OBS or others to show? Yeah, I've showed it to them, and they've used it to check, and they did they did confirm that there was noise in the line that was interfering with the upload signal. Their problem is them trying to nail down where that noise issue is and then solving for it. That has proven to be somewhat problematic. What are we doing for first aid kits? I don't know if I have any in the car here. I do not. <laughs> I got a lot of fuel cans on me, though. So I grab three first aid kits. Probably check the condition of all my tools out before we leave. We've passed peak capitalism. It's all downhill from here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Caution! Connection is now chartreuse! Next thing you know, it's gonna go plaid! <laughs> it's not easy being green. Baby poop green? It was almost like a, like a bluish kind of... I don't know how to describe it. I don't do colors. I do primary colors. I don't do, like, fancy shades of colors. It was green ish, bluish colored th thing ish. I don't know. All right, I have jumper cables. Oh, there's something. That's, oh, that light. I still can't fix that light. Uh, I don't know if it's worth replacing that light ahead of time. Probably not. Aqua teal receive E M Aqua. I guess. Oh, now it's red. That's great. I hate my internet. I like it when it works. I don't like it when it doesn't work. Why is it telling me I need a scrapper? I literally have one right here. Uh, visit the friendly dumpster. We already did that. Tend to your wounds. Oh, yeah, I probably should do that. There we go. Turquoise. Dumpster's done with me. Okay, where are we headed next? Let's see if that storm moved on away from those zones I was trying to get to. Boom! It sure did. That's in the way in other spots. <laughs> Good times. Oh, I can go over here. A lot to be known in that junction. Can... Oh my god, I scanned almost nothing in this that zone I was in over here. Why is everything a question mark? Like literally everything now. Even the stuff I've already scanned before. Oh, wait, I should check quirks. Doesn't count the plasma scrappers having a scrapper. Yeah, I see that. Doesn't make it not weird. Okay, so... It's something about the... I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's try something about the radio. The radio stays on. Wipers. Toggle. <laughs> Zero of four. Well, well, well. And Mac also works for Lou on the ground. Yeah, it's kind of a nuisance, though, to try to pick up some of the stuff on the ground. Okay. So I did the workbench tier 2. I have that now. Um, I have 2.4 unstable remaining to me. To get an upgraded handbag. A thermal vacuum. Considerably more powerful iteration of the handbag. This applies more highly focused energy to produce an even more em emphatic and efficient result while also casting light. Into the dirtiest, darkest of corners. Keep away from face. <laughs> Maybe I should make that thing. Ooh. That takes corrupted. Okay, so we get an upgraded hand back. That'll be good. Investigate on the first level? 
Investigate what now? You did what to who for how many cookies? Expanded matter regenerator. Athletic simulation station. <laughs> Play basketball if I wanted to. Parts locker? For storing car parts? Error. Missing ingredient? No, that's fine. I don't know what we're finding right now. Oh, for my quirks. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, install the investigator module. Oh, right, uh, B, investigate. Oh, man, that took a bunch of limb. Oh, steering wheel. Swerves hard. Uh, wipers toggle. The swing, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what was happening at the time when the, the wipers were all messing up on me. Although it, it didn't do anything with the wipers. Because it didn't pick it off as the right thing, so... Okay, so when the steering wheel goes right, something happens, but I don't know what. <laughs> oh, headlights. Anyway, the headlights toggle. No. Nope. I swear my lights were going on and off while I was playing. Now you can experiment with the blade with the... Now that you know what. Yeah, so when the steering wheel goes right... How many guesses did it say I had left? Fuel, every door, dashboard, flickers. Ooh, almost three or four correct. What does the dashboard do? Um, I didn't notice the gauges because I was too busy looking at the road. Oh yeah, go to my car and turn the wheel to the right. <laughs> Look at you being all logical. Wavy animation. Oops. Wipers off. Lights off. Okay. It flickered. I moved the wheel to the right and it flickered, but... Oh, look at the speedometer going. <laughs> Alright, so it affects the speedometer. Speedo did go crazy. Alright, so steering wheel goes right. Uh, no. Steering wheel. Oh, well, it's definitely dashboard. Speedometer fails. There we go. Fixes. Electrician's kit. I got one of those. I think. Yeah, I do. Resolve! There we go. Look at that. Fixed all the quirks. How about that? I got a car that actually works now. Well, such as it is. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go here. Apparently I have options. <laughs> We'll probably go through G1 up to C5 and then over to here. See where that takes us, I guess. You have a normal car? Well, it's normal ish. Heavy on the ish. I don't like that that uh, speedometer's not, or the uh, 
Headlight's not working right, but whatever. What causes the quirks, anyway? Are they just, like, random, or is it when something specific happens? Alright, we'll go to, uh, over here to G1 first. There's always that midway interruption. I don't know why it doesn't have it marked. Oh, I did fix the tire, so I've got the fixed spare in the side of the uh, little side storage. So we're okay that way. I think just about the only thing I'm interested in in rolling through this zone is if I happen to see something that's armored. I'm still trying to get uh, get more of that thermosap crystal stuff. I get that new engine in this thing. And this car will fly, baby. Have I scanned that blue line before? Oh, there's a truck there. I've scanned this before. Airstrip, yes I have. Okay. Yoink! Steel door, I don't really care about. Maybe I'll take the tires and get. Oh. <laughs> it's so dark. Take the tires in case we need the rubber or whatever. For other crafting. Lord, sure. Squirrel, that's right. The question is, do you want to go that fast? I mean, it'll, it'll help me crash the car in spectacular ways, and yeah, of course I do. Who wouldn't want to crash in spectacular ways? That steel plate, thank you very much. Gear there, too. Alright, let's get out of here. What's the blue stuff? That's an anomaly. It's called airstrip. Uh, I think it, like, pushes you upwards. Also, some, some kind of weird anti-gravity business. Is that steel door or steel door? It was both, really. It was a steel door that I stole. Fairly certain they weren't using it, though, anyway. Try it for science. Ah, oh, it's too late. I already left. I'm pretty sure I've driven into it and it pushed my car up. Sort of like the yellow ones that appear, but those ones are like temporary, where that blue one is uh, static. watch the follow TV series when it comes out. Yeah. I'm trying not to have big expectations of it, because I pretty much everything I've hoped for has just been a disappointment. So I'm trying to go in without really expecting a lot. That way I'm more likely to enjoy it. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I'll check it out. I've been watching the Shogun series on, uh, on Disney Plus lately. That's awesome.
Is that on Amazon Prime? Uh, I can't remember. It might be. Yeah, I think it was an Amazon Prime show. Which is part of what makes me leery, because the, uh, the Wheel of Time series is also an Amazon show, and I'm horribly disappointed in it. Underground Mischief? What the... I wonder what happens in Underground Mischief. Let's go up there and grab that thing. That's right, I can steal steel doors. You can't stop me! Well, that's the Underground Mischief there, probably, then. There's an electrical effect I need to scan. No, it's not these guys. Those are just shock tourists. Somewhere there's a there's an electrical effect I have to scan, and that unlocks another crafting thing I wanted to unlock. Yeah, I don't know what it looks like though. I know it'll be blue and electrical like. Beyond that. Might as well go off road here, I guess. Oh crap. Trying to dodge around that thing. Oh, that might have been a main mistake. Nope, we're good. Sweet. Skillful driving, as always. You know what, I unlocked, <laughs> I unlocked that upgraded vacuum, and then I forgot to make it. Because I'm smart that way. That memory like a sieve. Um... I'm gonna scrap the lab computer, I guess. Lab computers. I think that should have had more components. Oh, there's a backpack here, too. Nice neighborhood. Oh yeah, this place is beautiful. This is just a place to raise your family. As long as you're not interested in your family surviving or having good prospects of anything. Get that anchor point. I found it. No, how do I want to get away from here? What was that noise? Alright, so it looked like there was a house or something ahead of me. Oh, there it is. Not really a house, but a building of some kind. I 
Get out of here, Miniman. I can have all the loot? What's this? Canned food. They're still game. Yeah, there's, there's still GameStops around. I don't know why people shop at them anymore, but they're still there. Uh, car is this way. If only we could find a blockbuster. <laughs> Where else are you gonna buy Funko Pops other than online? Yeah, I guess. Okay, so when I get the car, I think we gotta take a hard left to get out of here. Oh crap. Let's get out of here. Ugh. I'm gonna double back the way I came, I think. I am. Crap. I don't want that. Go this way. Look at the trees, because that's never presented a problem for a car. I'm sure it'll be fine this time, too. Oh, there's no cliff or anything to go over. Boom! Off road tires for the wind, baby. Those ones drop plasma, that's interesting. I got your plasma. Nice, got one of those little uh, mystery pearl things. Let's get out of here before. Uh, one of those electrical guys come back. Oh crap, there's a storm coming too. That's not plasma, it's crystal Pepsi. Ah, <laughs> uh, classic. Classically awful. Uh, I get more lead there, but I don't know if I need lead right now, so I'm gonna leave it. Thing here. Here's what's in here. Random junk. Hey, old school. Uh, we had a bit of a hiccup with the internet gremlins, but it hasn't been too bad tonight. All things considered. Facing the wrong way. Um, how do we know? This is the way I want to go. Oh my god. Oh, all bad things are happening. Where did the... Oh no. I... I may or may not have lost the... Oh, there, there's the steam linker there. Yeah, we got it, we got it. We got it. Really no better than a park this close. 
A little radiation protection going here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I thought I screwed that up a little bit. It doesn't look like it did too much damage to my car, fortunately, but that could have been uh, worse, I guess. Shock me anyway. Give it jerks. Look at red over here. Ooh, armored car on the hill. Need that. Leave my car alone. Oh, radiation too, nice. The third arm comes in handy. <laughs> Dangerous manger. Uh this armor panel. Give me these. Oh, give me that! Yes. That's it, I think. Yep, it's got his radiation. Gross. I need to heal myself too. Small fry with the 19 month man message. How's the zone driving? Well, <laughs> how's the zone drive? Well, let's just say I'm not dead yet. Not through uh, any superior skill on my part, though. That's for sure. Bad news sound. Oh. 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 Let's just bug out of here. This isn't the zone I want to head to anyway. Oh crap! Really? Stupid anomalies. You see, I'm driving here. Oh, oh, no. oh. Okay. That wasn't quite as flawless as I thought it might be. Hold on, let me. Well, what did I actually go over? Oh, rocks. That's fun. There's not an armored door, so I don't care. Get out of here. Oh, shoot. We're out of here. Where are the radiation bills? I don't, uh, I don't think we have radiation bills. No, no. Oh. Uh, uh, I hate that anomaly. Let's be drive all erratically. Usually I'm so skilled. Investigator truck. Oh, good chunk of stuff back there. Sun's finally coming up. Uh, nothing armored on this thing, so I don't need to worry about any of that.
Okay. On to the zone. Actually, this will only be the first mid mid area zone or whatever. Mid zone area. I don't really want to call it. It's not even the one we're going to destination wise. Okay, but we're out of the storm now at least, so I don't have I don't have that craziness. Something's moving. Oh man. I don't know, I don't like the sound of that. Junction conditions, something's moving. There's some big stalking monster here. I <laughs> reached the Crypto Box standard of excellence. Well, I mean, nothing's dead. Oh, except for my headlight. That's, that's kind of dead. <sighs> it's still not totally toast, though, so I guess, you know, whatever. Uh, I'll take this. Let's do a little patch up work here before we go into the zone. Overall, not bad. I wonder if you could use the blowtorch to fix the tires. That'd be kind of funny. Yes, you can. <laughs> not sure how that works on rubber, but all right. Guess I could fix my storage too while I'm at it. Blowtorch in the fuel tank. Yep, that fixes it. Uh oh, I ran out of blowtorch. Shoot, that means I'm gonna get more of those. Uh, I'm gonna get more of those egg things. Alright. This is only a small zone, so a couple, couple quick points to hit up and then we can get out of here. And it's going to be daylight, which is great. Reseals the bead. Yeah. Interesting way to do it when you're uh, blowtorching it from the outside of the tire. Though. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Mind us coming through. Oh, yes. I need these. So we're going to have to get uh, a little suction thing. Oh, I've already got on there. Number six. At some point, there isn't like something awful that's gonna be upset that I'm taking these eggs. <laughs> you hope there is something, of course, you do. Oops. Oh, it's my road flare. <laughs> I was like, what is that? It did not result in any of those little thermal crystal things. What? No. Road flare's back again. These are all crude parts, they're not of any use. Alright. Got to turn my headlights off. That's probably not a good thing to do. Anyway. I didn't think my headlights were on, actually.
30 foot chicken. Oh man, it better not be a 30 foot chicken. I don't have a deep fryer handy and we're all at a batter. I've got more eggs here I need to snag. I scanned these things before, right? No scans are right. Yeah. Still don't know what the deal is with the giant orbs, unless they're just decorative in some way. That need scanning? Which does? The big, uh, the big orbs? I did scan it, but it didn't give me anything. I went farther than I thought I would. Okay. Oh! The anomaly thing's near here. It's like right across the water there somewhere. Or not the anomaly, it's an anchor. Uh, I keep calling it the anomaly, but there's an anchor right over here. Scan, read, property of NBA. There it is. It's an unstable one this time. Cheese it! Oh, there's more of the tourists popping in. That's fun. A lot of them up on that hill now. I'm gonna get a healing while I'm standing here. Okay, the other one is uh, also up the hill, though. Straight ahead of us. I guess we'll drive to this one. Oh, I may regret this. <laughs> Stable anchor. It's something new. There's some purpley things flying out here. What are those? No, oh, bubblegum buddies! Oh, I don't want it! I don't want to be your friend! Okay. Down to the road. I'm gonna get out of this zone. Let's get out of here. 
They'll steal from you and your car. Oh! Wait, does that mean I might be missing something from my hopper? Flashlight. Suction thingy. Oh, I have to look after. I feel like I might be missing something there. I don't think I like those bubblegum buddies. Friends don't steal from friends. Not if they're good people. Hey, you staying? How you doing? Count your kidneys, you seem to be light. <laughs> Swarm this morning. I woke up with two of them. Man, this stormy weather sucks. I say, that's another opportunity to try to get some more of the uh, thermosap crystals. And then they all start blowing up. Am I missing a side rack thingy? <gasps> no, I am! You're right! Oh. Crap, that had all my healing in it. Yep, I definitely am. I'm going my hot bar at least. Is this just a saw? Are you a can opener? Dang, damn it. See, the problem with the way these things blow up is the thermosap crystals, if they come out, they just go, like, everywhere. I don't know that I got any out of that. Because I don't see them landing anywhere, but I did see an armored car here. Give me all this. Oh, hey guys. Oh, hey guys. Uh. Okay, these guys are coming out in full force now. Let's get out of here. I don't like it. They're creeping up on my car and stuff. I'm out of here. See these rider road map? Uh, sitting in chairs. Oh, reading chat. Explosion. Um, I did see the roadmap, yeah. I just saw the graphic for it, though, so I don't know if they, like, put something out that had timelines on anything, or, or what the deal is, but I, I did see, like, the list of stuff that they were looking to work on based on uh, player feedback. I feel like in any game where they let you build a chair, they should automatically know that you're going to want to sit in it. Just be a foregone conclusion. Hey, look at us, some distraction. Took on you, I read it, and then went back to driving. There's one of those pickup things there, but I think I'm gonna leave it. 
just buzz through here and get out. I got plenty of time before the, the storm thing gets here, but. No sense tempting fate. For random junk, anyway. Hey, Lou Bird, how you doing? Tower Rob except your trapless chicks. Bubblegum Buddy was the thing that I had to scan that I hadn't gotten before, so that's cool. Um, all right, looks like I've got everything already. So uh, scan here: belching barnacles, shakers, air strips, all the good things, all the good stuff. <laughs> Tempting fate. Who are? What have you done with cryptic? I'm sorry, man. Sorry. Man, I'm irritated that those bubblegum guys stole my out, my exterior storage. It didn't really have a ton of things in it, but it did have a few things I kind of wanted. I mean, stuff like the, uh... Hey, you ready, driver? Okay, first off, I've oh. loaded up three locations on your ARC device map. See them? Hey, head to whichever strikes your fancy. You, you're sending them to the visions? Sure am. We're gonna use this. My optical vasilizer. We shouldn't use that. Why not? I mean, it, it, it's been decades. It, no way that thing is in any sort of working shape. I've been fixing it up in secret. And I'm sorry. Don't be mad. It's going to be a surprise for your birthday. So he's not talking about the link gateways, right? He's talking about oh, these green coins of interest? I've got any bitty modification to your headset, Triver. I've hooked up the vasilizer here to modulate your scan function. Think of it like, uh... Or like an extra layer of mayonnaise on your technology sandwich. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, what, what are you using the vasilizer for? Ah, uh, no spoilers. We have to tell the story from the beginning. Time. Get ready to feast your eyes on the visions. <laughs> so this is this like ash falling down. Feast my eyes on the visions. Do I have to? The painter. So we told you about the mass hallucination. Hundreds of people, 30 seconds of crazy, yada yada. But there was one instance where that event and the remnants intersected. The story of Laura Cesare. Laura worked at Ada as an executive oh, secretary. Crap. She put in her hours, but she spent her evenings with a real passion. Painting. When the hallucination event swept through, Laura was overtaken like everyone else. But for her, the visions didn't stop. She tried painting them, but grew frustrated at her inability to recreate what she saw. Now at first, Anna wrote her off as one of the many whose brains got scrambled by what they saw. Until Laura stumbled across a rusty can of paint in the woods. It was a remnant. Once she started using this paint, the visions in her paintings began to come true. She painted feverishly for over a year, chasing the visions the entire time. Until the day the paint ran empty. And then she disappeared. Like all remnant holders do. Now that we know the remnants in the mass hallucination are related, maybe Laura's visions can help us out. All right. We'll just try anything, I guess. The Great, the great Pile Up. Pile up. <laughs> you know, if you catch the mural at the right angle, when the moon is right overhead, you can spot the helmsman's body in one of the boats. No chance. It's a paint smudge. Nothing more. <laughs> Believe me, it's true. I've seen it. Well, that's eerie. All right, so hey, I gotta, is I gotta scan all three of these things, I guess. Different before. Probably the instability messing with the paint over time. It's been decades, after all. Nah, something's... Something's definitely off. Hey, uh, where's our old notes from when we took a field trip out that way? Uh, driver, why don't you go ahead to the next one while we investigate this? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Oh, my God. It's gonna get my car and swim. Mysterious helmsman. I'm telling you, the helmsman never made it out of the zone. 
He died here. Not this again. I still don't know why you're so convinced he existed in the first place. Driver, back me up here. This is how the story goes. It was the winter of 72. A ship set sail down the Columbia River 100 miles east of here. The helmsman was overcome by bad weather, and, and while in a particularly foggy patch, the boat hit something, and the impact threw him from the deck. When he woke up, he was on a boat on this very lake, smack in the middle of the zone, with no idea how he got there. He had with him a ridiculous amount of cash and paid anyone and everyone to get him out of the zone. But no matter how he tried to leave, on foot, in a transport, he would always head into a fog and reemerge on another boat. try and snag some of these uh, count, stable anchors while we're here, too. The pileup was 20 boats high and 30 boats wide. Uh, a limb duplication glitch, nothing more. And you, of all people, planning limb tech instead of a good old-fashioned mystery? It doesn't add up. All his favorite pastime was carting people out of the zone. How could someone actually bail to escape? And a mysterious man with a backpack full of cash. And the one place he can't spend it. Seems awfully fishy to me. No oh, crap. Well, this is where your theory comes oh, in, crap. Francis. <laughs> oh, Jeff, look at me babbling away. Francis, you, you, you explain it. It's so good. No, it's just... Uh... I'd rather not. Come on, we talked about this. You should be proud of your word. Toot your own horn. Yeah, I, 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 not this time. Okay, well, uh, Francis... Oh, good, more salamander theory, eggs. His entire branch of research was that the zone exhibits a property seen nowhere else on Earth. Every phenomena that occurs here leaves its fingerprint forever on the physical space. So we created this device to pick up on these uh, some physical after effects. How did you explain it? It was like identifying a whale's favorite color using only the wake it leaves behind. Uh, the rest was science mumbo jumbo. It's a form of electromagnetic imprint. Anyway, it was a long time ago. <laughs> and what a better time than now to try it again. These guys talk a lot. Okay. On to the next point. Oops. Crap. He accidentally turned the engine off. I wonder if there's ever a point where the water in the game is so deep that your car just like disappears under the water. My radio just turned on by itself. Okay, there's the anchor there. Try to get the car up the hill. But you can't because I'm not moving. Oh, crap. Come on. Yes. Ah, right, good enough. Okay, let's go to that second uh, blue point there, or green point rather. This thing here. Let's take a left at the next corner. Can you roll the car in this game? You can, yeah, but then you can just um, you can get out and turn it back upright. I I have sort of rolled the car maybe once or twice, but only sorta and only maybe. <laughs> path again. One of those flying things, too. Oh, 
Once or twice or two dozen. Eh, it hasn't been two dozen, but it's definitely been... I think more than twice. Possibly. Uh... Ah, crap. These anomalies are a nuisance, man. Ah! Alright, that's good for the car. Oh, shit, broke my windshield and everything. Something turned the radio on again. I don't know what it was. All right, uh, I need to fix the uh, fix the front, and then we need to fix the windshield. I'm gonna need one of those ceiling kits that I had made. Where did I put those? I don't have to make another one of those blow torches. No, it needs a tier 2 bench, but I don't have that. That sucks. Oh, that's what else was in that box on the side of my car. All my uh, repair paste stuff. Repair putty. I don't have any chemicals to make anymore right now. Uh, I don't have any paint colors I can break down. Alright, I gotta go to the left here somehow. So just drive out over the water, I guess. Number two. Still don't know what the swamp corals for, but I figured I might as well grab it while I was there. Huh. That's a seriously messed up ah, painting right there. Bigfoot mural. <laughs> My personal favorite. There's a Bigfoot in the exclusion zone? Okay, that's weird. Oh, did, you, did you see that, Francis? Oh, boy, oh, boy, Francis, look, look, look. Uh, look here. It's different from our sketch when we visited in 82. It's all scrambled, but the shape seems familiar. If you, if you tilt your head, doesn't that kind of look like Mount Olympus? Oh, Francis, you flippin' genius. It absolutely is. Wait, 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 let's look back at the first one. What's different there? That, that shape right there. I, I, is that Hook Valley? Holy smokes. Oh, wait, pull up all the topographical maps of the peninsula. If we look around the areas where you'd get that view of Mount Olympus... See, Francis? I told you your basilizer would work. I, I don't think this is the basilizer's doing. Driver, we're on to something. Get to that third vision. Yeah, we're on to something. We don't know what it is, but something. I see no Bigfoot's gonna be stepping on my car. Oh, Hungry Sasquatch. Uh, a driver, if you come across a mushroom like the one in the mural, do not eat it. <laughs> no matter how tasty it might look. <laughs> You're speaking from personal experience. And let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. Oh, just thinking about it makes me want to puke all over again. You've probably passed the biogenerators by now. They're our source of power in the mid-zone, and one of the best demonstrations of renewable limb tech. Yes, these battery farms keep our lights on, but more importantly, 
they're also the only place in the entire zone where anomalized mushrooms grow. And guess who turned out to be the world's biggest fan of those mushrooms? Bigfoot itself! And the vision oh, told its arrival in the zone! <laughs> It started when those pods hanging from the battery farms were found chewed up. At first, they blamed it on the local wildlife. This was back when we used to have some. Then, the sightings of 10-foot-tall creatures started that didn't attract them much attention on their own. Not until the first footprints were found. The Olympic Peninsula has always had a collection of Bigfoot sightings. But they were rare until Bigfoot had its first taste yeah, of the normalized mushrooms. Then it couldn't stay away. And that's when the Swatches came knocking. They jumped the wall, set up camp, and they got to investigate it. Once they learned of the Sasquatch's appetite for these mushrooms, they cultivated entire bombs of the stuff. For months, they propagated mushrooms and set traps. <laughs> and for months, evidence mounted that Sasquatch was making its rounds and evading those traps. Until Crap, one stuff's night, like randomly the again. experts disappeared. Bigfoot got them. No question. Uh, come on, all eight at once? How is that possible? Never get in the way of a hungry Sasquatch. So about that last vision. My car is definitely not in the best of shape. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, I can't even look at it. Francis, you explain it. And maybe you've already seen them, driver. A freestanding bright... The inverting doorway. Ugh. I don't. I don't like this one. What's the inverting doorway again? Oh, bingo! See that pattern in the last mural? That flower only grows above a, a certain elevation. They put the three locations together, and, and you've got a square mile in the northeast corner of the deep zone. Huh? The visions were pointing towards something the entire time. <laughs> hey, Oppy, you can stop pretending to ignore us now. <laughs> Take a look at this fine work. We've pinned down the location for the source of the mass hallucination. That's where the driver needs to go. Well, what do you know? Well, I knew the basilizer worked. What did I tell you, huh? He still doesn't know, Francis. Know what? Oppy? Not my story to share. Okay, is Francis gonna speak my up theory. or what? And that vassalizer, they're uh, illegitimate. Wait, wh what are you saying? I built that device to prove my imprint theory, and it was on the verge of getting the results I needed. But my research funding was running out. So, I forged the data. Not much, just enough to justify more time. I, I was so close. I knew the breakthrough was right around the corner. But Ara found out. That's why I was reassigned and my clearance revoked. Wait, wait. You told me you changed labs voluntarily. Eight years of research with nothing to show for it. And then, and then for that to happen, I, I couldn't face you. That doesn't mean your theory is wrong. I still think there's something to it. There's a common thread with some of the remnant stories, like the telephone switchboard, the ones that seem to recall the past somehow. Maybe the remnants access those imprints. Oh, no. <laughs> read them like a needle in the groove of a record. Don't. You, you don't have to do that. It's in the past. I, I don't care about it anymore. Get me out of here. I've got this suspicion, right? If we can just get the car to the mass hallucination source, what do we find they can prove your theory? It's worth a try, isn't it? I'm tired of trying, Tobias. I've tried all my life, and it didn't go so well. Look, I don't have one of those fancy degrees that you and Oppie have. The closest I ever got to science was wiping down your lab benches. But I saw the incredible things that you did with your research. Yeah, well, Arda didn't think they were incredible. I don't care about Arda. I believe in you. Always have. I'm All right, sorry. we need to get out of here, so I'm going to grab I can't do this, this point without. here, I guess. Oppie led the disciplinary committee that stripped my clearance and demoted me to a glorified intern. She 
sat there and decided how best to humiliate me. I never asked for anything. This one time I do, so I would, I would never have to talk to Abby again. You didn't listen. Your remnant was more important than what I wanted. Francis, I didn't... I wonder if I should have waited, waited and listened to the rest of their story first. In case they were going to tell me to do something else here before I left. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, that might have been a bad he'll, move. He'll, uh, he'll come around. Sorry, driver. We'll, uh, we'll see you back at the auto shop. Okay, no, they just want me to go back. That's good. That storm is coming in quick. I gotta get this get out of here. Ah, I want to scrap more of that armored car, but I just don't have time. What's the relations, relationship between Francis and Tobias? I don't know. I think they're just buddies. One guy was a researcher, and the other guy it sounded like he was like the janitor. Charge stop. It's not a repair stop, unfortunately, but. Visions, uncover some of the visions or whatever. Oop. Now we're back. Interesting thing about that deep zone area you identified. I ran every coordinate in that area through the auto database, and what turns up? But access logs with entry records for Dr. K up through March 1963. What? No, the doctor died in 1961 in the lab accident. So we were told. Then, I found access logs for both that deep zone site and Red Meadow. Years and years worth of activity. The Red Meadow Research Facility? But it was demolished the same year. A after the structural damage caused by the... Uh, lied about that too, didn't they? It appears so. The driver should give the Red Meadow ruins a visit. If Dr. K didn't die that day, I'd like to know what was keeping him so busy. Red Meadow So ruins? would I, but... Do we have time for this? We don't know how long the driver's got with that remnant. And that's why we need this information. Whatever Dr. K was doing relates to all of this. It may be the key to what lies at the end of the road for the driver. I... Uh, agree with you. God, I hate saying that. Driver, I've marked the Red Meadow facility on your route planner. Head there whenever you're ready. All right, Red Meadow facility. Got it. Yeah, it's amazing how many things they fit in those little uh, little oyster shell thing of a bobbers you find. Starting grade count stable at 100 TPM. Starting the experiment. This is it, people. A new chapter in the history of science. Oh, my poor car. Okay, we have enough stuff to make another blowtorch now, at least. Uh, that's the upgraded the, 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 the thermal vacuum I could make. Well, that takes thermal sap crystals too. I don't want to make that right now then. I'm trying to save up for a better engine. Uh, what am I going to make? Oh, yeah, the blowtorch. Probably should make a couple of them. We could put one of them in the car. Leave one here, maybe. There we go. Four cards are competing this time. What will I do about that lost side rack? I'll just have to build another one, I guess. The rack is still there, just the storage thing I had stuck on it is gone. So putting another storage thing on there is easy enough, I guess. <laughs> Seems I'm gonna need to do something about this headlight also. 
Oh, which I apparently can't remove. What? Breaking. Fix repair buddy. Smashed. Fix light replacement. Peculiar fix none. But I can't take it out. Oh, okay. I just couldn't do it with the holding my blowtorch. I'm just going to scrap this thing. Okay, maybe I'm not. <laughs> I got, like, nothing out of it. Alright, we need a new bumper, but I was going to try to make... It. Well, actually, that was the lead bumper I lost. That's not good. Uh, Alright, in here we can put... Full torch. Get rid of all this stuff. Some decoration stuff here, too. Still need or not a bumper? Yeah. I need something. My, uh, my bumper's entirely missing right now, so... Oh, I need another headlight, too. Uh, alright. Headlights. Now, we'll make a lead plate bumper while I'm standing here already. Look, it's that. No <laughs> one eyed wagon. It's just winking, that's all. It's a bit of a sassy wagon. No, oh, look at that bottom. Headlight, there we go. Okay. So I finally have two headlights I can actually fix. What a novelty. Uh, we need another storage for the side there. So, um, I wonder if I should spread some of this stuff out so I don't have everything, like all my eggs in one basket kind of thing. Put the blowtorch over here. How many gorks do I have to fix now? Uh, I've got a minimum one. It says none though. There is definitely a quirk there, but it's saying there's nothing. Because the, the radio kept turning on all the time. I don't know. Weird. I feel like it should be saying there's at least one there. Alright, I've got 8.6 unstable power. Unstable energy, whatever. That takes thermosap crystals. That takes a limb magnet. I don't even know how to make those yet. What's this? Rapid refill pump? Fill your vehicle faster than any standard pump ever could. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why that's important, but... Parts locker? Store a part per locker in this grid to make tripping over discarded bumpers and so... Alright. So like 0.7 limb. Let's make one of those. Where does this go? What am I missing for the engine? It was uh, thermosap crystals for the most part. Oh, interesting. Oh, there's all kinds of. Oh, holy crap! Why did they just give me such a massive storage after making me pay for those little upgrades? <laughs> That's so weird. Uh, let's see, tools. We could do the, uh, 
Liberator Mark II, modified version, boasts improved capacity along with provided central service. I haven't found anything I've been using Liberator 4 lately. Oh, you know what? I just put that headlight in and I could have made a different one. Could have made an insulated headlight. That was a waste of materials. Oh, here we go. Side floodlights, roof floodlights. I kind of want those. So actually, I'll need, I'll need the roof rack too, I guess. Do I have the roof rack unlocked? Side rack? Oh, I do have the roof rack. I just don't have anything on it. Okay. Uh... Locked. Roof floodlights. Why is it just locked? Doesn't give me any indication of what I need for that. Hmm. Oh, wait, because I gotta get this first. That's right, I get excited over storage. <laughs> That's just a sign that I'm a pack rat. Roof floodlights. Confirm. Oh, there's where the swamp coral gets used. Dang it. Alright, well, we can swap out the headlights for insulated headlights. Coral is that expensive? Yeah, it is, it is pretty expensive. I mean, the, the coral, you got quite a bit of it when you vacuum it up. So it's not like insane, but clearly I need more than I vacuumed up already. Um, okay, the new engine that I wanted is this one here, the turbo light engine. I'm, I only need four more thermosap crystal to make it. I do want the other vacuum pump thing, but I think I'll just make a replacement of the regular one for now, the hand vac. Because I don't want to use up my, uh, my thermosap crystal on it. Maybe a replacement flashlight too, I guess. Crude flashlight. Bulb, electronics, 9 volts, yep. yep. Nothing crazy there. Ingredient wise. Check and see if you can make new clothes. Oh, I should check that, yeah. What do we got here? <laughs> like nothing. <laughs> Basically nothing. Large backpack. Oh, swamp coral. Let's make your hiker. Oh, okay, that's definitely worth getting more swamp coral. Personal airbag. Stiff shirt. That's piercing resist or whatever. I guess these all just stack like as you have them on. Alright, we need more things. More stuff and things. I really want that large backpack, so we definitely gotta get more of that swamp coral. Build radar that helps find tons of swamp coral and reefs in the swamp, which is uh, trippy to, na tricky to navigate. Uh, where was the radar thing? Did I unlock that? Oh, we get other tires. All terrain tires. Surely no tire can excel in every kind of terrain. Perhaps not, but the next best solution? Well, that does the passable job on all surfaces. I don't know, I kind of like the off-road tires. Power grip tires. Paddle tire, make your vehicle all but amphibious with this almost skid free solution. Huh. 
Augmented truck store? No, I can't do that. Uh, extra large roof storage. I could make that. Stick that on the roof. I'm just worried that somebody's going to steal it on me. Second tab for the right for the radars over here. Boop. Uh, resource radar. These things really launch out of there sometimes. Unlock seat rack for those. Need regular stable energies, so that's a no go. Armored panels and such. Nope, nope, nope. Lights. Nope. Hydrogen generator. It's not simply that energy from raindrops is being converted into electricity, it's the acid and heavy metals sometimes present within the zone's rainfall is being so utilized, so probably don't drink the water. Alright, let's try this. Okay, so I'm going to put the large storage on the roof. And then I'll maybe get rid of some of the side storage. In favor of other things. Extra large roof storage. Wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. Holy! Okay. Oh, that is really large. Sweet. Take that off of there. Just put this in storage for now. Actually, let's take this in a locker right here. I might have need of it later. Oh, this only holds car parts for, like, doors and bumpers and stuff. Okay. That's why it's such a large storage, I guess. Oh, or maybe I just can't put this thing in storage. What the heck? Oh, I see what's going on. Um, guess it'll have to stay there. I, I don't think I can put that away anywhere. Oh, you know what? I'll just uh, I'll scrap it right now. I'm not using it, so I might as well get rid of it. I can always make another one. Not only car parts, but only one. Oh, uh, okay. What advice the pickpockets like to get? The closest item. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, hydro generator. Press that. Stick that on here. So I assume when it rains, that'll generate power for me. Legion here. I'm gonna try going with the side floodlights here. Oh no, resource radar I gotta put there, don't I? Okay, where do I put the resource radar? It's not side mounted. Doesn't go in there. Is it a handheld device? What is this? Savvy device make a crudely calibrated to detect nearby raw resources. I thought it would be something I stuck on the car, but I don't see a way to install it. Does it say here where to put it? So I said calibrated. Uh, uh, I wonder if that's a roof rack item. Crap. I need to build another roof rack. <laughs> the size of it. I 
don't think I have enough uh, to unlock the other roof rack part. Nope. I need stable energy for it. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. So much for that idea. Flare gun. Bio headlight? Wearing limb technology with the zone's curious bioluminescence, this light uh, projects a powerful, tensely focused beam. It's probably best not to think about whether it might be alive. Huh. That's waggy. Auto tracking spotlight. This uh, tracking spotlight's been configured to, con to respond to and follow movements off your headset. Consider it your extra flashlight. It also goes on a roof rack, it looks like. Craziness. Go for a short run. Yeah, I could probably do a little resource thing and get some uh, unstable... Or uh, not unstable, some uh, stable limb. Found a car door. It's an armor door, too. Let's just put those in storage. Puking dumpster over here. Tells you where things go on the bottom of the crafting screen. Yeah, I saw that when I went back there and looked. I noticed the uh, little symbol around it. Alright, this is going to be a resource run, I guess, this time. Boop. Boop. Oh, wait. Food. I can go in here. I wonder if there's a way to keep the, uh... Keep stuff from grabbing things on my roof. Because that would really suck if they stole that whole thing on me. Survival tools, we got all that stuff. This thing's still not going to show me anything. Even though I'm sure there's a quirk in there somewhere. Alright, what do we got here? Um, I mean, I guess I could probably go to one of these things I haven't actually searched yet. Well, we'll go over here. This would be a really easy one. I would think. Quick little resource run to get some uh, raw energy. Need some other resources too, like cloth and stuff, I guess. Is it prevention what the limb pulse is for? Uh, well, yeah, you can stop them from like stop them from grabbing or let it, or get them to let go. But I don't know how quickly they could snatch it off of your car. Is kind of my problem. I'd have to like see them coming and activate it so they can't grab my stuff. Plus, it uses the uh, the battery power up when you use it. You gotta be at least slightly aware of that. It's always dark. Alright, uh, first stop will be over here. I don't know how I turn on my side floodlights. Are they mapped onto here, maybe? Yep, that's what it is. That didn't work. What's going on? Changeability, side floodlights, select option. Yeah, there we go. 
So we can see while we scram. As long as I park the car in the right spot, I guess. I'm trying to get those overhead floodlights, but it just occurs to me that if that's another ability I have to set up to activate, I wonder how much power it sucks up. Oh, that's a lot of, dead, a lot of tourist guys. <laughs> Anybody see any thermosap raining down anywhere? <laughs> oh no. The pieces fly so far, like that's a terrible way to get thermosap. It's technically possible, but not terribly realistic. Why do I look away? Because uh, it gets them to actually converge on the on the flare. They move when you're not looking. I can't even see the road here. like to not drive into it. Alright, we got this one picked out, and I guess we'll go for this one next. Let's get out of here. Let's take this one off road. Oh man, I hope this hill doesn't get too steep. Oh boy, this might not have been the best way to go. Oh, we're hardly moving. Come on, car, you can do it. You know you want to over slide. Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> okay. This might not have been the best route. I didn't think it was going to be that steep. Okay, let's just go back this way. We'll take the road. Road seems like a good option. Let's, let's take the road. It's the tank road. It's the scenic route. Yeah, it wasn't all that scenic though. There was all I could see were trees. Oh crap! Okay, it didn't get me. It didn't get me. was neither scenic nor rude, because it couldn't go that way. These dirt roads are hard to follow.
I need to loot some buildings along here too, I guess. I'm gonna get cloth and stuff. This is one way down. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh car. Oh bad. Oh. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Perfectly safe. <laughs> oh, how much of that truck left? Oh, that's one of the world's jump ramp things. Son of a game. <laughs> Give me this. Can't. Can't reach it. I'm gonna have to move the car first. Ah. Okay, I gotta back the car up. my little thing of a bomber. Yoink. There. All right, that was less than ideal, but we got it. We got it. Everything's fine. Uh, I want to go over here and search. I need materials. I need fabrics and such. Not something I thought I would be short of. And a nice peaceful tunnel. This is a good spot to repair my car, I think. see anything. Just a little damage, it's still good, it's still good. Alright, so for that backpack I need a bunch of fabric. I don't remember what else I needed. Stuff. I needed stuff. <laughs> Just random stuff. Oh yeah, the coral too. Yeah, I can't get the coral here though, we gotta go to the mid zone for that. So we won't be able to get the backpack upgrade, but at least with the, um... I don't know, that stable energy, there were a couple things I could unlock using that, too. Uh, should be a roadblock right here. Quote-unquote road.
little bit of anomalous over here, but hopefully not too bad. I think when I came here before, there were lots of those flying guys here. Have to watch for that. Nice. Fix it with an electrician's kit. I don't have one made. Oh, I need one electronics that I don't have. Alright, maybe we'll get lucky we'll find one around here somewhere. Maybe that power supply in case I needed to open the door. You can munch the power supply and it'll still work. Oh, that's good. Ah, oh, my torch thing broke. Crap, I can't see anything now. Give me the thing I needed. I know I had an extra flashlight I made, right? There it is. Okay, they did give me the electronics I need, so we can make the electrician's kit now. I can fix this door. Hopefully it was worth it. Probably not going to be. Gears to something? I don't know what the something is there, though. Right front tires busted. Oh, is it? Oh, wrong button. There we go. Oh, it is, too. Thank you. Uh, I need a ceiling kit. Fortunately, I had one of those already made.
fixed. Beauty. Uh oh. This one needs a mechanics kit. Lobby raid! Hey, hey Lobby. Thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. I don't have a mechanics kit made though. There we go. Okay. Tires are sorted out. Um, we got that building, those buildings. I should get the plasma that's back here. I'm sure this will come in handy. Raid! Welcome to everyone who might be popping in from Floppy's Raid. Welcome one and all. Appreciate the raid, Floppy. such an odd time when I'm streaming relative to all the other streams that are out there. I never know who to raid. <laughs> I've sent people to random streams before, but I never know what I'm giving people when I do that. Alright, this place is cleaned out. We got a, a decent amount of cloth here, I think. I don't know if I got enough to satisfy what I needed. Oh, we got little chemicals, too. That's alright. So, I have like eight cloths, so not like a crazy amount. Gas cylinders was that thing we could make, so we could turn the, use that machine to m turn gears into gas cylinders. Just seems like it has limited utility. Raid myself, yeah. I mean, that works if I have another stream, I guess, but it has to actively be running, so it probably doesn't work so good. Uh, let's go get this thing. And then we can bail out over here, maybe? It's gonna be a bit of a drive back that way, though. I'm gonna double back. It's really hard to see the map of this thing sometimes. Sharks with lasers. Floppy sent you. Well, welcome. Yeah, appreciate the floppy raid. How early in the game? I, I'm in the mid zone right now. Um. Right, well, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm at the point where I could be doing mid zone right now. I did a resource run. To one of the closer zones, just so we could get some, um, some stable energy in order to unlock some other research items I wanted. Um, but we're at the point where we, we have reached the mid zone, though. Okay, I need to be going the other way here. I'm gonna go this way. Just finished the game tonight. Oh, did you? Nice. I mean, I guess you could push hard on just all the story stuff and kind of rush through it, but trying to, like, upgrade our car and stuff as we go. Bigfoot approval. Out of curiosity, do you find Nightbot better than Botrix? Well, I've never tried Botrix, so I don't know, actually. Um, I don't really use Nightbot for all that much stuff. Um, I use it for like dropping certain commands in the chat, a little bit of moderation things. Um, one of the uh, one of the mods, Rabbit uh, Rabbit Dog, programs some commands for Nightbot so that um, they could do some other things. I didn't really like dig in too extensively into like what the different bot options were and what their features were like. I just sort of picked one and went with it. I've just been kind of been using Nightbot the whole time. I'm just that kind of a slacker. Oh, that's a repair station there, maybe. What's this one? Yeah, repair. Repair slash charge. Steal a few resources while we're here. Seems about responsive, not gonna lie. Which one, Botrix or Nightbot? It's hard to know what to use. When I when I started streaming, I didn't really know what I was gonna need. Um, I had originally started the channel doing uh, edited and uploaded content. So when I, when I started to like work on doing uh, 
doing more streaming stuff, I just sort of picked a couple things. But I never really, never really knew what I was getting. Some tourists in the way. Oh, for once, they actually dropped some of the uh, thermal sap crystal. Oh, my flare went way over there. <laughs> It doesn't bode well for the thermosap they drop either, because it could launch the thermosap way the heck over there, too. Oh, see, look, I turn around and they're all going over to where the flare is now. <laughs> nice. Whoa, jeez. I seem to get the uh, the thermal sap crystal more reliably from breaking down armored cars than, uh, than from the tourists. I almost never seem to get it from the tourists. All right, we can uh, we can bail out over here. Let's get out of here. I really do want that upgraded engine. I feel like I'm going a lot faster than I am. Oh, I got a bad tire. Are you kidding me right now? Ceiling kit. This is bad time you need a ceiling kit, man. Oh, look at this the drop thing coming in too, the little purple purple triangle there. Way on the other side of the map. I can't get that. Crap. I think we're gonna wind up in the uh, in the storm before we get to this uh, exit point. No! <laughs> Stupid thing. That was uh, that was really not the best time for that. This my car didn't explode, I guess. It's still running. It's a good thing the explosions those things let off don't do that much damage. Have a nice field trip. It was splendid, thank you. Let's get a little healed up. Get all our stuff unloaded and see what we got to work with here. I only got one additional thermal sap crystal though, I think, which kinda sucks.
Hopefully we'll get some out of this. I don't know if you can get thermal soft crystals of these things, actually. Oh, look at all the plates. Come here. Nail this. Okay, so that'll let us get the... Uh, oh, I only got three stable energy out of that? Really? Yikes. At least we can get this. That's what we wanted, was this other roof rack. And then we can mount this thing on there. <laughs> this thing's looking crazy, man. That's ridiculous. Okay. Was there something else I needed the um, stable energy for? I don't remember now. Sort of look like a space station on wheels. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got like a satellite dish on the roof and everything so we can watch satellite stuff. Oh, I wanted this so that I could unlock the jump jacks. The seat rack, I don't even know where this goes. I guess it goes on the back. In here? Okay, so I can do stuff inside now. And then, does that give me access to the jump jacks? Somebody had said the jump jacks were really good. I don't, I don't really know how they get used, but... Error, missing ingredients. What am I missing? Oh, that takes stable energy too. Okay, so that's a that's a non-starter. Jump jacks can be dangerous if you aren't careful. Ah, oh, everything I can do will be dangerous. <laughs> okay, what do we got on the message here? Cancel download. You wouldn't download a car. Cancel download. All right, whatever. Get that thing going. <laughs> Uh, we have some yellow quirks, so we definitely have multiples of those we're going to have to deal with. At least one. I swear we had one before, but it, when I checked it out, it didn't, like, didn't come up with anything. Oh, what do we got here quirk-wise? Yep, we got two. Um... I don't know. Let's do an investigation. Oh, well, I don't have any limb. I can't even do an investigation. Ah! We can guess. <laughs> when steering wheel goes left, the uh, radio switches on. <laughs> nope. You can try some of the simple things there in the bay. Yeah, I, like I can sit, you mean like, um, like testing in the car to see what comes up with anything? Closing the hood didn't seem to do anything. I shouldn't have changed the station. So far we got, we got crappy music now. Did I open the back door? Yeah, I left that open after I took the stuff out. Turn the radio off, does nothing. Nothing for putting it in gear. 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Might have to just wait and start to see what stuff pops up. No Spanish station. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish, so turning on the Spanish station wouldn't help me much. Yeah, I don't know. Get some road flares if we can. Oh, no, wait. Road flares have to be collected, don't they? Crap. Alright, that's a non option. Um. Okay. I'm going to test drive. Well, I think I'm just going to head out into the mid zone and we'll see what we find. I got to go all the way up this way. I already unlocked up through C3. It's interesting. I can't pick any point along there. That's funny. Why is that? All right. I guess we're going here. Wait. Right, right into another storm effect. Those are always the best. Sometimes you can hit an accessory to the car and something will happen. What do you mean by hit an accessory to the car? Oops. Okay, what I should do is make sure that since I had this idling here, I should probably top up the tank quickly. Takes almost nothing. See what happens. Oh, one of the specials. Ah, oh. just wasted power. Did I neglect to charge the battery? <laughs> Pretty sure I charged it. Hope it's charged. Yeah, I do need swamp lands. We gotta get some of the uh, some of the swamp crystals in particular. I need to hook a whole bunch of those. Someone please mod mystery machine for the game, Mr. Bald Spot. The super chat, thanks, Mr. Big Bald Spot. Um, you know, what? I'm just gonna hit this one here. We'll follow the loop all the way around. Fix my car while I was at the shop. I feel like I neglected to do a variety of things. I didn't need that road sign anyway. It was really more decorative than functional. I thought that might have been a number of cars I saw there, but it wasn't.
Those fuzzy dice! No, nope, no fuzzy dice. Fuzzy diceless. Ah, do you jerk? I'm grabbing my car. Actually, I don't even have a mirror, so I guess having fuzzy dice wouldn't really help anyway. I'd have nothing to hang on. Get the car! Was an armor, there was an armor car back there? Ugh. I gotta check because I need the. Uh... Oh, wrong button again. Dang it. I wanna tap it out my battery. Where was this armored car? Not that one. Is that an armored car? That pink monstrosity? No, that can't be. Nope, just regular steel. This particular zone would even have armored cars in it. Things are gonna get messy when I grab both of these. I have a mirror, what's the UFO? Oh yeah, fair enough, I do. <laughs> it's just kinda it's right up by the radio, so it's like out of my line of vision. Okay, we can just keep going this way and we can get out of the zone. Dip a little free energy, off we go. Put in the air almost look like a luggage rack. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Sometimes only you're like just kind of buzzing by stuff. It's hard to spot what it is at a quick glance. Okay, off to C3. Gonna be in the swampy zone, so we're gonna make sure we get some of the um crystal things here. What's it called? A coral crystal or something? Need a mod to program Nightbot to say, uh, say, some say the stink quotes. There's only one stable thing here, but that's not what I'm after right away. Extreme conditions, harmful to humans. Oh, well, that's fun. And me without any healing, because I didn't make any, and it, they stole my healing last time. That truck might be useful. So it was the whole... I guess the whole zone's not harmful to humans, just some. What the heck is the fence there? Not one, anyway. Crude bumper, crude bumper, don't care about those. Doors in there. I 
Okay, I gotta find some of that uh, coral crystal flower stuff. Whatever the heck it is. Literally no idea where to, where to find it other than the swamp. Oh, the road's all flooded here. Oh, there's some. See it, I see it! Oh, use the radar thing! Oh, yeah, I kind of forget. <laughs> Uh, I are smart. I may or may not have forgotten I had that radar thing. Which button is that? Is that the enter key? I mean, I can see something there right now. I, maybe I should just see what it looks like when I scan with it. Oh, that's not. Oh, it's the shift key. There we go. Oh, wow. Holy crap! Okay, that gives you a lot of info. It's nutty. Okay, I want to hit the control key. Oh, why? Ah, oh, this is bad. Why is it not letting me suck it up? I'm getting like almost nothing out of this. It's a little better. So we know what it means by this, uh, this zone's hostile to humans now. <laughs> Crap, where's my car? Get out of here before I'm dead. Good lord. Oh, my car's getting rocked too. stuff to make healing, but hopefully I do. Yes. <laughs> Only mildly cooked. Yeah. We're just par cooked, really. Uh, let's get my uh, torch up here. Try to fix some stuff here quickly while I'm healing. Fix the battery too. Do that before I really need it. more.
The pump is almost toast. Probably should grab the other one out of here. Oops. Stop this thing! Get cut, you jerk! Okay, cutting him doesn't help. Cutting him doesn't help. Oh no. Bubblegum pals! They're not my friends. What'd they take? Hopefully they didn't get anything. Oh, jerks. Turns out you can't cut the bubblegum pals. <laughs> Try to. I don't have any flares on me. I got a flare gun in the trunk. I guess I could probably grab it, try using it on them, but I don't know. Okay, those guys are the pickpockets. They steal stuff. They run off my car, I think. Watch out for him. Your car to make sure you. Oh, yeah. Really good thing to do. Everything's on the car properly. Yeah, this area is kind of spooky. It doesn't help that it's dark, but then you've also got, like, you get the storms rolling in. I'm gonna go over here. Looks like a hard left here. Where are they? This road here. Yeah, storms rolling in, you get all the swampy effects. Yeah, it's good times. Picture show. What's his name? Oh, oh. <laughs> the lips. <laughs> How do you do I? See if you met my faithful hand in my hand. Oh, it's got my car. Ooh, no grabby car. Now, those gunbites guys really better have left. Really? Again? Again? I can't even get out of my car this time. Stuck. Oh god. Right, this might this one might have been poor car placement on my part. I, I don't know where the uh Oh, 
Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, I gotta get the, uh, the little scanner out of here. This might help me find it. Oh, it's way out though. They stole it! Those little jerks! Look at them running away with it! <laughs> that is so not fair. I got low health too, this is not gonna help. Give me that back. No! No! Mine! Little jerks! Even little thieves? <laughs> yeah, I'm down to 32% health. This is not really doing a good thing for me. Hope those things aren't chasing me right now. I hope so. Okay, I gotta get out of here. That junction point right there. Jeez, I can't see anything. This weather sucks. Emma Lancaster, thanks for clicking the uh, the join button and renewing your six month membership. Appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Oh man, I'm not happy with where my help is, but I don't know that I can do anything about it. I'm fairly certain I don't have the materials I need to make more health kits. Do you have any food? Uh, I'll have to check in the back. I don't know that I do. Oh, and this next zone is high instability. That's great. Eerie darkness. Fabulous. Acid devours fuel. Fabulous. Swift storms. Oh, wonderful. I'm not happy about this one. I'm going to try to duck out of this one as quick as I can get out of here. Uh, if you're spending this time, it shouldn't be me this time, I don't think, Joe. It looks like my internet's okay. I haven't died in this game in a while. Nah, it's been a while, yeah. Alright, we'll check the trunk and see if I got any food back here. I don't know if I do. Do not. And I don't have enough to make any first aid kits. I need fabric and duct tape for that. Because in my infinite wisdom, I forgot to uh, make some med kits before we left the base. Fabulous. Just fabulous. Um, okay, we've already got exit points available. That's a promising sign, I guess. Not really thrilled about the eerie darkness business, but whatever. There's a few things in this zone I haven't scanned, too, that I'm gonna get a chance to scan, because I gotta watch my health. And the storm's coming already. <laughs> Maybe I should just be getting out of here. There's our little bubblegum friends again. No, no, no! Ah, I'm really afraid to do it. Oh! is that? Wait, what? What is that? Sap compressor? Metatool impact hammer. Paul, baby! Okay, jackpot. Can't even see them. <laughs> they blend into the ground too easily.
Alright, let's just get out of here. Look at the storm incoming already, anyway. Facing the wrong way. No, oh, that's oh god, that speed boost sucks. Come on, car. <laughs> I was like, let's get me there quicker. Everything's fine. Oh, there's more of the sap condenser things there, too. Dang it. I want those. How about that? We lived. And you want a faster car? Well, not that fast. That jet powered thing, it's a little hard to steer. It's a little. Oh my god, look at the damage on my car. Back from your joy ride. Drive off any cliffs this time. Um, probably. Hey, <laughs> we live though. Victory. And such. All right, that's gonna take a serious amount of repairing. Uh. the tires really aren't taking much of a beating considering how I'm doing all this off-road driving and like slamming into rocks and stuff sort of would have thought the tires would get wrecked a lot easier they've been pretty good there's the heroes of this thing Please tell me I can make another blowtorch. Uh, blowtorch. Blowtorch. There it is. Oh. Been low on mats. Crack too. All right, we need another sealant kit. So that's all fixed up. It was the whole car pretty much.
Okay. That's all good. Um, that Those eight thermosap crystals will give me enough to make the engine I wanted. <clears throat> so I can finally... <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, did not mean to do that. Hey, what are those candy things? Tree candy? It was tree candy. Why is it in my storage? Okay. Uh, let's get that engine crafted. Where's my engine at? There you go. Turbo light engine. Oh. Probably pretty good anyway, because my, uh, the engine I had in there was not, uh, not in the best shape overall. Missed something on the left, a flash by Oh, did I? Okay, hold on. I see me with the torch. Holy engine parts, Batman. <laughs> that engine scraps for a lot of stuff. Oh, wait a minute, did I have a shell that I... I didn't break down? Oops, crap. Did it again. Guess not. For some reason I thought I might have had a shell that I stuck in storage. This is the Bravo Company. We've encountered half a dozen campers on O'Neill Creek. They claim nobody stopped them from entering. They uh, also claim it's 1955. Over. Okay, so we've got our engine. Let's see what we got here that I didn't get repaired up on the left side. Oh, the tire here needs checking. Need a ceiling kit for that. Oh, man. Seem to be resource light right now. Whip up a few of those. We can put some in the car. Yeah, tire's fixed. Oh! The hydro generator, that's what it was. Thank you. Got that covered. We need to refuel. And now what else can we unlock? I have 8.3 unstable energy. Only 1.1 stable. Junction restabilizer. This device will allow you to use a scanner charge to send a modified single to a junction, scrambling it. I have no idea what that's trying to tell me. <laughs> Is that like after you pull the uh, the stabilizer off? Bio headlights. Uh, auto tracking spotlight that goes on the roof rack. I already have the resource scanner there. I don't know what else I want to unlock at this point. We got this cattle prod thing. I don't know what good that does me though. Oh, the jump jacks. There we go. Uh, the backpack, did I get enough stuff for that? I don't think I got enough fabric for it. Oh, I'm still way short on the swamp crystal, too. Or swamp coral. So we need a whole bunch more swamp coral, and then I also need more fabric. So we're going to have to spend some time in the swamp again. Hunting for that stuff. Uh, the next upgraded engine is this one here. The amp engine. In the distant past, many cars were electric, then the combustion engine kicked them to the curb, but with Limtech, magnets calibrated by an onboard computer and a generous dose of plasma power, the amplified magnetic propulsion 
It's the engine of the future. Just watch. Now that I now that I just made the one engine, watch this one. This one will be craftable already. I'll have all the all the stuff I need or something. Have a night, Slabby. The auto parker. Right, I'm getting tired. Rudimentary weight and motion sensors below the driver's seat will automatically engage and disengage the parking brake. This is the technology of the future. I like that, but I don't have enough limb. That sucks. Ion shield. Far more effective solution than a wall of lead. This field of charged particles captures and effectively neutralizes even the most energetic ionizing radiation. Power hungry, but life saving. Huh. Second chip allows it to spend anchor energy into partially diagnosed a quirk. Oh, let's go. Let's go with this. The quirk thing has been kind of a pain in my butt. See you, micro. Auto Parker isn't worth it. I mean, it takes uh, it takes energy, but it would save me and uh, help with some of my laziness. No fix available, four hints available. But I don't have the limb for the hints. Can't use the investigate ability. So those uh, those quirks will have to stay unknown for the moment. Alright, well it's uh it's already twelve thirty my time, so I think I'm gonna crash for tonight. Next time we come back we'll head out and uh continue with the adventures in the, the mid zone, try to get that backpack so we can get more storage space. <laughs> Our car is looking significantly different than it was before. Quite a lot of crap on there now. Can't even stand in the back corner here to get a good view of the darn thing. Normally I would take thumbnails. I guess I could have back the car up. Let's get through though. It's uh it looks like a weird Frankenstein machine, but it's uh it's got stuff and it does things. Should be live again tomorrow night. Again, to be around uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. I think I'm going to be playing some Nightingale tomorrow. Uh, but thanks everyone for coming to hang out tonight. I appreciate the super chats and everything this evening as well. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.